What's up everybody, 32 Icon here. I hope that you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. In good faith that I will continue bringing you great content. Oh, and I'm just another YouTube personality, so take what I say with a grain of salt and do your own research, okay? All right, so today, I'm back, all right? I have been ill, okay? I told y'all that on my um, community channel or the community um, part of my channel that I was sick and I'm still am sick. I'm kind of getting over it, but I know you guys have been waiting for these videos. So it's an early sunny Saturday morning. I think it's cold outside because I got the heat on in here, but I haven't been outside yet because um, I wanted to get these videos done for you. So I'm going to be recording back to back to back. And I told you guys that before, like I can record two videos back to back but once I do three videos, I feel like I'm stuttering. I'm doing a lot of editing. I'm all over the place. Like the third video is kind of like, eh, but the first two are okay. But listen, I got to pump it out for you. So if I'm coughing, sneezing, clearing my throat, deal with it, okay? Because I'm just trying to get over this sickness. But anyway, we are popping in to the CZ P10S with the optic ready. Uh, cut. So, you guys already know it's clear. So, this video about to be short. It's about to be short because y'all already know how I feel about CZ, and this gun is no different. So, first of all, I got this gun from Omaha Outdoors. Okay, they gave me a little discount. Nothing crazy, but you know, every little penny counts. I also bought my CZ Shadow 2 from them, and they gave me a little discount for that. Um, we can't find these in Connecticut, all right? The P10S is like, I don't even know where it is. It's like, I promise you, we got like a handful in. So no one can find them. So I was like, you know what, let me go online and see what I can find. And I had great luck with them last time when I bought my... Um, black and gold CZ from them, the Shadow 2 that I just told you about. So I was like, let me go see what they have. And lo and behold, they sure did have this up there. And I forgot how much this cost, but you could go on there online and see what they have. But yeah, they gave me a little discount. And so um, shout out to Omaha Outdoors. Now, let's get into it. <clears throat> so this is the baby brother to the CZ P10C. Since you guys saw this last, um, you'll notice that I have the um, O light on here. I had to put that on there. I just got one recently from, um, where did I get this from? Oh, Optics Planet, of course. So I had to throw that on there. Anyway, they made a couple of changes, but not a lot. Like, it's literally the same gun. The biggest change is that they don't have the Ambi mag release, okay? This is reversible. It's not ambidextrous, okay? So when they had the ambidextrous version on this, what happened was it's it gets stiff. When you go to release the mag release, it's stiff. So they just put it on one side, of course, this fit for a right hand person, but you can reverse it so that a lefty can just use our thumbs and actuate the magazine release. Okay, that's the first change. The second change, of course, the barrel length is a little shorter. It is uh, three and a half inches long, whereas the P10C is about four inches long, about the size of a Glock 19. Also, on the P10S, the sights are different. So on the P10C, the sights are metal, of course, and they're three dot uh, luminescent sights. So like, if you charge them up or if they're in sunlight during the day, then at night they will glow. Not true, night sights, but it has a little bit of uh, glow to it if you need it and if you charge it during the day. Whereas on the P10S, there is a, oh, I have my, um. I thought I turned this red dot off. 
Normally, if I'm not carrying, I just turn it off, but it's been on this whole time. Let me turn this off, save my little battery. Hold on one second, because I'm not carrying it yet, so there's no need for me to have it on at this time. Okay, all right, so on these sides, it's a blacked out rear, and it's an orange tritium post for, for the front post. Hopefully you guys can see it through that glass with the Hollison on here. And by the way, I will be reviewing this later on today, the Hollison. Um, this is the Hollison 507C. But anyway, the sights are different. Of course, they're metal, but um, they are, they have the tritium in the front and the blacked out rear and it's serrated, which I love a serrated, I don't know if you guys can see this. A serrated rear sight. Um, the other thing, <clears throat> the trigger is smoother. All right, so on the P10C, it's it was it's good. It's a good trigger. It's a it actually. I'm sorry. It's a great trigger. All right, but you can feel and you can hear. A little bit of that grime and, and grit right so here we go that's the wall all right tactile audible here's a reset very short reset now on the P oops on the p10s Okay, less grit, lot less grit. Wall, all right, and reset. Ooh, feels like the reset is way shorter. Let me see. If I had to guess, I would think the reset is a little shorter on this. All right, let's get some pull weight. So, I had to go to Optics Planet. Again, you guys can use my code, 32 ICON, for 5% off. All right? Now, someone told me, I forgot who it was. Shout out to the person who said, I can't remember who it was, but they were like, Liv, we love your channel. You're very informative, but... You need to get a trigger gauge so that people can see, you know, how heavy the trigger is. And I'm like, I don't need all that. You know, I'm not all technical, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, yeah, I understand that, but it will behoove you to get one so that your viewers know that you know what you're talking about. I condensed it, but basically I accepted the feedback. And I appreciate it. And so because of it, let me see about this um, pull weight on this. All right. All right, I'm holding it at the bottom. Here we go. So, 3.84. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Three point three six. Three times, right? This is kind of fun. <laughs> and oops. Hmm. Two point one. Let's get the average. The average is three. all right. And I have about three hundred rounds to this. I have about two hundred and fifty with the hollow set and 50 rounds without it when I first got it. So about 300 rounds. So the pull weight that I'm getting for this is uh, three pounds, two ounces. All right, let's clear that and let's try this. And this also has about 300 rounds, I believe. I don't know if this is an accurate way of doing this, but bear with me. Oops. 
All right, three pounds, 15 ounces. Three pounds, five ounces. And three pounds, 19 ounces, with for an average of three pounds, two ounces. So, it seems to be the same. But anyway, listen, when I shot this, it shot lovely. It shot like a dream. You understand? Like, you'll see like there is a little bit of muzzle flip, but it's not that it's snappy. Like, I don't consider this gun snappy. It felt really good. Um, it was straight. It was accurate. It felt like a full-size handgun for the most part. Not full-size. I would say compact size. Like, it felt... I mean, you could clearly feel the difference, right? But overall, it felt like I was shooting a compact gun, not a subcompact gun. So I really enjoyed it. It's still the same gun. I mean, size comparison, of course, the barrel length is longer. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's a... Um, gleam of sun coming in that I can't really show it to you the way I want. All right, that's the grip. And let me show it to you against the VP9SK. All right, this gun is unloaded. I have not shot these side by side yet, but you guys know I love my VP9SK. Let me put the magazine in here. All right. Now, so the best I can do this, the barrel length on the P10S seems to be maybe a centimeter longer. All right, maybe a centimeter longer um, as far as the grip is concerned. The grip seems to be a millimeter longer on the VP9 SK. I don't even know if I'm holding this right. It's weird to do it in front of the camera, whereas if I was doing a tabletop review, I could just put the camera here so that you guys could see it. But the grip on the VP9 SK is like a millimeter longer. But practically, they're the same size. They're the same size gun, all right? So that's the VP9 SK. Let's see how it fares with the FNS 9C. All right. So it's about, the barrel is about two centimeters longer, if that makes sense, than the FNS 9C. The width seems to be the same, and the grip, the grip seems to be the same. Okay? So, I love this gun too. So overall, you guys will see video, obviously, of me shooting this. I, yo, this, whoo! The only thing I might do is switch over the mag release so that it's on this side, but I really enjoy shooting this gun. The other thing that I want to bring to your attention is the trigger guard, right? So look how much room is in the trigger guard for you to use a glove if you're outside. So let me show you. This is my mag pull glove. I don't know if you guys can see that. I wore these gloves. I don't know. Twice. This is probably my second time wearing them. Sheesh. All right. Now, if I were to put my, I don't even know if you can see this black on black, but look how much space is there. Do 
lots of space, oops, where you can use a glove finger. All right, lots of space there. So I like that about it. What else? Because I don't want to. I don't want to miss anything. I feel like I could be missing something. I guess if I had one complaint about this particular gun, even though I didn't have any hiccups, no failures, no nothing, is that you see this texture here? And I said this on a P10C. You see that texture there? So that's where you're supposed to rest your thumb. It irked me. It irked me because I don't know if the texture is too rough. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is, but it's the same texture that's on the P10C. And I remember getting this gun and complaining about the same thing. In fact, I started to feel my skin uh, get a little raw there. Not a lot, but enough that it brought me discomfort. So I probably just have to get used to it because I haven't shot it in a long time. Or I should say shot the P10C in a long time. But outside of that, I love this gun. Like, I know I did a lot of comparison to other guns, but at the end of the day, if you watch the review on the P10C, it's the exact same gun. I don't know if I'm gonna carry it yet, just cause I have to get used to carrying a red dot. Um, but it was, the red dot wasn't hard to pick up at all. It was just, you know, I was just right there, but I'll talk about that when I do my Hollison review. But outside of that, I really enjoyed this gun. I know I said this video will be short, but you guys know once I get to talking, it just goes from there. But anyway, the CZ P10S, it's another winner. I keep telling y'all, y'all cannot go wrong with the CZ. I, I don't even know how to keep convincing you. You get a CZ in your hand, you're gonna love it, you're gonna enjoy it, and if you don't like handling a CZ, then you're probably an individual who don't like pizza. Like, <laughs> like who doesn't like pizza, right? All right, listen. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're well and treating one another with kindness. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Peace.